A reading from the lives of the saints. The Annunciation. When the time came for God to call the humble Mary of Nazareth to the work for which she was born, the archangel Gabriel was sent to her, to her house in Nazareth. She was then at the normal age of 14, betrothed to Joseph. Gabriel found her prayfully pursuing her normal women's work, such as spinning, with a spindle, so she is portrayed in some icons of the feast. And he announced to her God's choice of her. He said, Rejoice, O grace one, the Lord is with you. Mary was troubled by this greeting, and Gabriel said, Fear not, Mary, for you have found grace with God. Behold, you are now to conceive and bear a son, and you will call his name Jesus. Mary knew not how she was about to conceive, since she was still a virgin, and asked how this was to be. Gabriel said, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Mary, while well knowing all the misunderstanding and suffering which a virgin birth would bring from her unbelieving neighbors, humbly submitted to God's will, saying, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. Thus did the Holy Virgin of Nazareth Thus did the Holy Virgin of Nazareth open the kingdom, become the foundation of our faith, becoming by her ascent our most pure and immaculate lady, the Mother of God. Here ends the reading. To the prayers of the Mother of God, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. <coughs> o Lord, open my lips and my mouth to show forth your praise. It is time for the Lord to act, bless Master. Blessed is our God, always now and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. Pray for us, Master. The Lord direct your steps. Remember us, Holy Master. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always now and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who are everywhere present and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Lord, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall back before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, you are magnified exceedingly. You clothe yourself with thanksgiving and majesty. 
who cover yourself with light as with a garment, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. You are he who covers his upper chambers with the waters, who makes the clouds his means of approach, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. He established the earth on its stable foundation. It shall not be moved unto ages of ages. The deep like a garment is his covering. The waters shall stand upon the mountains. At your rebuke they shall flee. At the sound of your thunder they shall be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down to the place you founded for them. You set a boundary, they shall not pass over. Neither shall they return to cover the earth. You are he who sends springs into the valley. The waters shall pass between the mountains. They shall give drink to all the wild animals of the field. The wild asses shall quench their thirst. The birds of heaven shall dwell beside them. They shall sing from the midst of the rocks. You are he who, who waters the mountains from his higher places. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of your works. You are he who causes grass to grow for the cattle and the green plant for the service of man, to bring forth bread from the earth and wine gladdens the heart of man, to brighten his face with oil and bread strengthens man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be full of fruit, the cedars of Lebanon which you planted. There the sparrows shall make their nests, the house of the heron takes the lead among them. The high mountains are for the deer, the cliff is a refuge for the rabbits. He made the moon for seasons, the sun knows its setting. You established darkness and it was night, wherein all the wild animals of the forest will prowl about. The young, the young lions roar and snatch their prey and seek their food from God. The sun arises and they are gathered together and they shall be put to bed in their dens. Man shall go out to his work and to his labor until evening. O Lord, your work shall be magnified greatly. You made all things in wisdom. The earth was filled with your creation. There is this great and spacious sea. The creeping things are there without number. The living things are there, both small and great. There the ships pass through. There is this dragon you formed to play therein. All things wait upon you, that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it. When you open your hand, all things shall be filled with your goodness. But when you turn your face away, they shall be troubled. When you take away their breath, they shall die and return again to the dust. You shall send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be forever. The Lord shall be glad in his works. He looks upon the earth and makes it tremble. He touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I exist. May my words be pleasing to him, and I shall be glad in the Lord. May sinners cease from the earth and the lawless, so as to be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. from above and for the salvation of our souls and let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our Metropolitan Tikon, for our Archbishop Irene, for our, the Honorable Priest and the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this country, His Majesty the King, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. 
that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, so let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Do not incline my heart to any evil thing, to practice wicked works with men who work iniquity, and do not let me eat of their delicacies. Let the righteous strike me, it shall be a kindness, and let him rebuke me, it shall be his excellent oil. Let my head not refuse it, for still my prayer is against the deeds of the wicked. Their judges are overthrown by the sides of the cliff, and they hear my words, for they are sweet. Our bones are scattered at the mouth of the grave, as when one plows and breaks up the earth. But my eyes are upon you, O God the Lord. In you I take refuge. Do not let my do not leave my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares they have laid for me, and from the traps of the workers of iniquity. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I escape safely. I cry out to the Lord with my voice, with my voice to the Lord I make my supplication. I pour out my complaint before him, I declare before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then you knew my path. In the way in which I walk, they have secretly set a snare before me. Look on my right hand and see, for there is no one who acknowledges me. Refuge has failed me, no one cares for my soul. I cried out to you, O Lord, I said, you are my refuge, my portion in the land of the living. Attend to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. In the same tone, for your name's sake I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord.
For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. <coughs> Behold, our restoration has now been revealed to us. In a manner beyond understanding, God is united to mankind. At the voice of the archangel, delusion is destroyed. Tone, praise the Lord, all nations, praise Him, all peoples. confirmed on us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Mm -hmm. The great mystery shall be unknown to the angels, and hidden from all eternity, as it confided to you alone, O Gabriel, and you have come to Nazareth and entrusted it to her. spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Gabriel, ever filled with light, who do the will and fulfill the commands of the ruler of all, leader of the angels most excellent, preserve those who honor you with love, and pray that our souls be granted peace and great In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Mm -hmm. The archangel Gabriel was sent from heaven to announce to the virgin the good news of her conceiving. And coming to Nazareth, he was filled with wonder at the miracle.
Deliver us from all who seek our souls. For to you, O Lord, do we look, and in you have we hoped that you will not forsake us, O our God. Therefore, unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Master of the Holy Angels. Blessed is the entrance of your holy ones, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom, stand upright. seven pillars, she has slaughtered her meat, she has mixed her wine, she has also furnished her table, she sent out her maidens, she cries out from the highest places of the city, whoever is simple, let him turn and hear, as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, come eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Forsake foolishness and live and go in the way of understanding. He who corrects, the, corrects a scoffer gets shame for himself, and he who rebukes a wicked man only harms himself. Do not correct a scoffer lest he hate you. Give instruction to a wise man and he will be still wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For by me your days will be multiplied, and the years of life will be added to you. Wisdom. The reading from Exodus. Let us attend. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here I am. Then he said, Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. 
And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. So I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up from that land to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites. Again and again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life into Christ our God. Ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Destroy him that has power of death, that is the devil, 
and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For verily, I, for verily he took not upon himself the nature of angels, but he took upon himself the seed of Abraham. Therefore in all things he had been made like unto his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God, that he might be a propiti propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself hath suffered and has been tempted, he is able to help them also that are being tempted. And to thy spirit, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Listen to the Holy Gospel. Shadow you, 
Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, also has conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Mm -hmm. Glory to the Lord. Church and number them with your chosen flock. 
that with us they may glorify your all honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. All catechumens depart, depart. Catechumens, all that are catechumens depart. Let no catechumen remain. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Amen. Save us a mercy on us and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Mercy. Wisdom. We thank you, O Lord God of hosts, who have accounted us worthy to stand even now before your holy altar and to fall down before your compassion for our sins and for the errors of all of your people. Receive our supplications, O God. Make us worthy to offer unto you prayers and supplications and bloodless sacrifices for all of your people. Enable us also, whom you have placed in this your service, by the power of your Holy Spirit, blamelessly and without offense, and the pure witness of our conscience, to call upon you at all times and in every place, that hearing us, you may be merciful to us, according to the multitude of your great goodness. For unto you are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace.
remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto the ages of ages. And you and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom always now and ever and unto ages of ages. sacrifices for our sins and for the errors of your people. Make us worthy to find grace in your sight, that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto you, and that the good spirit of your grace may dwell upon us and upon these gifts here offered and upon all of your people. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You it was who brought us up from non existence into being, and when we had fallen away, did raise us up again, and did not cease to do all things until you had brought us up to heaven and had endowed us with your kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks to you and to your only begotten Son and to your Holy Spirit. For all things of which we know and of which we know not, whether manifest or unseen, we thank you for this liturgy which you have found worthy to accept at our hands, though there stand by you thousands of archangels and hosts of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, who soar aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphant hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy, Holy, powers, O Master who loves mankind, we also cry aloud and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy, and magnificent is your glory, who has so loved your world as to give your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Who, when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was given up, or rather gave himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Amen. Remembering the same commandment and all those things which have come to pass for us. The cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second and glorious coming. Your own, of your own, we offer unto you on behalf of all and for all.
Again, we offer unto you this reasonable and bloodless worship. We ask you, we pray you, we supplicate you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here offered. Bless Master the Holy Bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless Master the Holy Cup. And that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Bless both Masters. Making the change by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And remember us. In so may the Lord God remember you in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, in the ages of ages. Amen. The day may be to those who partake for the purification of soul, for the remission of sins, for the communion of the Holy Spirit, for the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards you, and not for judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer unto you this reasonable worship for those who have fallen asleep in the faith, ancestors, fathers, patriarchs, and prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, the Virgin Mary. O earth and hell's good tidings of great joy, O heaven's place of glory of Supplication look down upon us, O God. Remember all those who have fallen asleep before us in the hope of resurrection to eternal life. Grant them rest, O God, where the light of your countenance shines on them. Again, we entreat you, remember, O Lord, all the Orthodox Episcopate who rightly teach the word of your truth, all the priests, the deacons in Christ, every order of the clergy. Again, we offer unto you this reasonable worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, for those who live in chastity and holiness of life. For all civil authorities, grant them, O Lord, peaceful times, that we in their tranquility may lead a calm and peaceful life in all godliness and sanctity. Among the first, remember, O Lord, his beatitude, our metropolitan Tikon, his eminence, our Archbishop Irenae. Grant them for the sake of your holy churches and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to teach the word of your truth. <coughs> O Lord, the city in which we dwell, every city and countryside, those who in faith dwell in them. Remember, O Lord, travelers by land, by sea, and by air, the sick and the suffering, captives and their salvation. Remember, O Lord, those who bring offerings and do good works in your holy churches, those who remember the poor, and upon all of us send forth your mercies. And grant that with one mouth and one heart we may praise your all honorable, honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Saints, again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts now offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loves mankind, having received him upon his holy noetic altar above the heavens, as a sweet spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, that we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, 
may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Transgressions and us ask of the Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. any to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life and in Christ our God. Master who loves mankind, we ask you, we pray you, we supplicate you, make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries of this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience, for remission of sins, for forgiveness of transgressions, for the communion of your Holy Spirit, for the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, for boldness towards you, but not for judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation, we may dare to call upon you, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say... existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who have bowed their heads unto you, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but unto you, the awesome God. Do you yourself, O Master, distribute these gifts here offered unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel by land and by air. Heal the sick, O you who are the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Attend, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, out of your holy dwelling place, from the throne of glory of your kingdom. And come to sanctify us, O you who sit on high with the Father, and are here invisibly present with us. And by your mighty hand impart unto us your most pure body and precious blood, and through us to all of your people. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy on me. Let us attend. 
holy things are for the holy ones. Broken in the say, I believe in the Lord, and I confess that thou art truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners out of whom I am first. I believe also that this is truly thy own most pure body, and that this is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy on me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary. Father, 
You should not be working for perishable food, but for food that remains unto life eternal, food which the Son of Man will give you. It is on him that God the Father has set his seal. At this they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus replied, This is the work of God. Have faith in the one whom he sent. we can put faith in you they asked him what sign are you going to perform for us to see what is the work you do our ancestors had manna to eat in the desert according to the scripture he gave them bread from the heavens to eat Jesus said to them, I solemnly assure you, it was not Moses who gave you bread from the heavens. It is my Father who gives you the real heavenly bread. God's bread comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, give us that is bread always, they besought him. this in a synagogue instruction at Capernaum. After hearing his words, many of his disciples remarked, this sort of talk is hard to endure. How can anyone take it seriously? Jesus was fully aware that his disciples were murmuring in protest at what he had said. Does it shake your faith? He asked them. From this time on, many of his disciples broke away and would not remain in his company any longer. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you want to leave me too? Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe. We are convinced that you are God's Holy One. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
having partaken of the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, giving in dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Asking that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. patron of this holy temple, of the holy righteous ancestors of Yahweh, Yoke and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and he loves mankind. Amen. With the feast. With the feast. With the feast. With the feast. I greet you, brothers and sisters, on the sacred day of our one of our 12 major feasts throughout the year. Thank you all for joining us and being with us this evening, and thank you for those that are joining us online, wherever you are in the world. May God bless each of you and give you a good rest this evening, and may He continue to strengthen you that you might have a good Lent, a time of repentance, a time of sorrow for our sins, but a time of great spiritual growth as we draw closer to Christ in our lives as well. May God bless you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With the feast. With the feast. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you.